I was going, guys, I just want to say, guys, I want to say real quick, the amount of eyes on this project has got to got, got to got me a little nervous. Like, I, 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 I don't hit those kind of numbers that often, and, and, and for it to be, like, one of the, like, I wouldn't say throwaway video, it'll be like a, uh, off-brand video, because, you know, mainly this, you know, mainly this channel is about gaming, so, to see my, like, game development stuff pop off is a real, I, I was a little proud, I was, I was psyched, I was just seeing the numbers go up, and now that the pressure's on, I gotta finish it, I gotta, I gotta finish the job. Now, real quick things, a couple things people said, make it extremely violent, buddy. Uh, <laughs> wait, first of all, I don't think violence, like, uh, or gore, uh, it fits well in the type of game I'm currently making, nor do I think Nerpo is like gory type like entity or creature. I feel like, you know, I, there's plenty of other weird things that can be like, oh yeah, that, that creature is definitely going to rip your inside out. I think Nerpo is more of a mischievous type creature, you know, like it hides in shadows or, uh, you know, it just, I, don't, I don't feel like he attacks like directly in such a gruesome manner you guys are wanting, guys. I, I, I don't want to disappoint, I'm not going to lie. Also, uh, a lot of people were saying, that uh, there is lore for Nerpo, but the only real lore I could find is like, you, obviously the uh, SCP stuff. SCP w was, you know, they, they adopted Nerpo. It wasn't created there, so, and um, I, and one, basically the long and short of it is he uh, whispers secrets to you while you sleep. He cracks your neck if you wake up while he's telling you, and the secret's gonna make you slowly want to nuke yourself. So, I uh, listen. Not a bad theory, not a bad, you know, lore, not a bad, uh, you know, thing, but I think I can shake it up a little bit. I, I, I feel, I feel like in my brain's, the, the cogs are working here. They, they're going, it's, it, the cogs are turning here. I, I think I can make something a little bit more, uh, interesting in my, in, in my sense. Not, not saying it's bad, I'm just saying. Uh, so, anyway, back to the game at hand. Now, this is the game. It looks a little different. New addition is finally the coin mechanic. You can, like, select a coin and throw the coins, like I, like I was saying in the last video. Uh, different coins distract Nerpo for longer. Obviously, the higher, the, you know, quarters the most, pennies the less. Come on, we know. And then you have your money counter to see how much money you have. I'm thinking of being, I'm thinking that you should be able to find money probably at in the house too so you know if you if you get into a room where you don't necessarily need to but if you if you um did you will have like uh you know you get a little bit more money a little bit more distraction and now also you will have to go around the uh, house this is the layout for the house and you have to go find these collectibles and i'm thinking that you get one collectible and go to the attic where the a is is where the attic's gonna be so i think you i think it'll be more suspenseful to collect one at a time rather than you know collecting all of them because i feel like once it coll if you collect all of them it's gonna become more of a speed run type of game rather than a survival well it's not really survival but more like i want you to be more tactful with your thoughts i don't want you just willy-nilly just you know what i mean you gotta you gotta be more tactful you gotta be more smart and um now you're now i'm showing off the vent mechanics uh, well mechanics is a little too much you can go in a vent okay and most vents a lot of vents are connected throughout the house and some vents you you have to take some vents to get some collectibles or to open certain doors because basically it's, it's basically a giant kiting game you want to kite him with the coins or try to avoid them by you know going through exits exits and you know entrances and just giving them the run around all right but you need you know need a space so if you go through a couple couple vents you can unlock rooms or find things that are valuable that can help you but obviously being an event is not you know if you get caught in the event if you don't have a lot of money to you know distract nurple you're it, it's an immediate death and it is a, it's a whole restart so you lose all your collectibles no saves yada yada um so why is there a timer the timer is because this game is now available for beta testing well beta uh alpha beta and regardless it's ready for testing guys now how do you test all you what all you guys got to do is be a patreon subscriber whoa 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 before you hey put the pics forks down relax guys relax you could join patreon for free no money i promise no money to you no money at all but if you do want to put money down to help me with this game you know you know funding the game yay hey you're more than welcome. I mean, honestly, you get a bunch of perks that you guys can read there at the Patreon link in description down below. You know, uh, there's also a Discord, but the Discord is you know more like encompassing this whole channel. So you know, playing games, VR, the game development. I do have a game development little section in the Discord, but there's a lot of other stuff that you know majority of people are in the Discord for other things, not game development. So you might get you know 
to, you know, you might say, oh, we're doing this, and it has nothing to do with game development. So, if you do have anything to say towards game development, you could do it there, or you could do it on Patreon with the new community feature or tab, I believe they have. Um, but it, you guys just type, type, oh, this is broken, this doesn't work. Uh, I think the game should be this, like, give me suggestions, uh, bugs you guys run into, anything, honestly. And it pulls your times, obviously. I want to see who's the fastest, who's the quickest on their feet, honestly. As soon as you collect all 10 of the collectibles, it, the timer will turn red, the giant block that's in the main room where you spawn will turn red, and the timer will stop, and then you just take a screenshot and sub submit that and say, I'm better than you. Simple, simple. Um... But, hey, guys, it, it, that's all I have to say. I did change Nerpo so he's not dolphin diving through the wall. Uh, through the ground, he's he's, he's, oh, he pl he's he's using physics, guys. He's not, he's not flying through walls anymore. Very simple. Um, as for the game, I, I'm I, while you guys are testing, I'm going to be working on a lot of uh, beta test features. Like, well, not beta test features. What am I yapping about? I'm going to work on a lot of, like, uh, tutorial, like, intro, main menus, uh, credit scenes, all that stuff. So, all the uh, background stuff. and while, So, I can do multitasking, honestly. So, um... Guys, link in the description down, below, down below for Patreon. I don't have much to show other than, like, what I said I was going to do. I was going to make them, you know, you know, navigate through the environment, different coins, and then I, I set the timer up so you guys can have fun, you know, who's faster, you know. So, have fun, guys. It's going to be great. Next devlog is going to be more in-depth, and I'm going to talk about more stuff, show more stuff. I'm going to hopefully have more stuff. I want to get this game out before Halloween or in the Halloween season. It's already kind of Halloween-ish stuff going on right now, but thank you once again for all the views, the likes. I appreciate all of you who have even just watched the video. Let them know the people that gave a like and said, you know, gave me positive words of encouragement. Uh, thank you guys. Stay tuned for three. I'm, I'm, guys, I'm locked in. I'm locked in. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.